What's up my friends, all my tech audio viewers, wherever you are, chances are, if you're starting a podcast or a new YouTube channel on a tight budget, like me basically, you surely ever heard about this company, this audio company called Boya. Yes, they often supply many quality audio equipments like the microphones or monitoring headphones at very competitive price. My lavalier mic here is in fact also from Boya. Now, in today's video, I have the latest wireless earbuds from them. This is the Boya BYAP4, which are also their second generation of truly wireless earbuds. The first one was BYAP1 to be exact, released back in the beginning of 2020. The BYAP4 are currently retailed at 80 bucks in Amazon. And for Indonesian viewers, you can find these earbuds through Lazada links that I put in the video description. Just for transparency to you guys, the Boya did send all the three color variants for me to showcase and to give honest, totally unbiased review of these earbuds. Personally, I like the black and rose gold combination the most out of the three, which also reminds me of my Sony WF-1000XM3, but I think the other two colors are also gorgeous on their own way, especially the gray ones guys whose charging case, interestingly, have different surface texture. It's like having very thin layer of fabric on it, while the other two are all just plastic surface. Enough with the intro, now let's move on to the review. It got me stone cold. Starting the review here with the physical side of thing, going with the charging case first, I personally like the design of the case. It's small enough yet still elegant with nice color combination too. The USB-C port is here and the case also supports wireless charging. The LED indicator here can give you detailed enough information about the charging case battery level, something that is still missing in many other truly wireless earbuds, including my Sony here. Despite feeling a bit less plasticky you can say compared to many other budget earbuds like the Oki EPT25 or Oki EPN5 for example, I do notice that the top lid feels too loose and can sometimes close too easily due to how strong the magnet force here. But the same magnet unfortunately isn't strong enough to hold the earbuds together when I shake the open case with medium power. However, overall the case is lightweight and small enough to not fill up your pocket so much. Moving to the earbuds themselves, this semi-in-ear design is getting common and more common nowadays, especially after the AirPods Pro popularized this kind of small stem design last year. The earbuds themselves are very light, weighing only 4.7 grams, and touching the material here, just like many other truly wireless earbuds, the Boya AP4 use plastic. However, this feels a bit more premium than the Oki PN5 that I ever reviewed on this channel which feel way more plasticky somehow, I don't know why. But still less premium if I compare this to rubber mate and the overall design found on the True Engine 3 SE. Again, this is a bit subjective. The silicon tips go just into your ear canal, not being too intrusive here and still comfortable in my opinion. Quite similar feel with the Oki EPN5. These are gonna provide fair amount of passive isolation while still give you a bit of situational awareness. Although, yes, once again, these earbuds won't give you the best passive isolation compared to fully in-ear earbuds. But on the positive side, inside my ear canal at least, the ear tips do not go as deep as my other earbuds like the Sony WF-1000XM3 or the Soundpits 3 Engine 3 SE which some people may find them being a bit too intrusive and less comfortable. The fit is surprisingly great though. These stay on my ear almost 100% all the time, giving some peace of mind even when I'm running or doing other vigorous movements here. But make sure you use the right ear tips for your ears. Talking about vigorous activities, if you do sports or other sweaty activities while using these earbuds, no need to worry that you will drench these with your sweat as these are IPX4 rating, meaning these earbuds can take water splashes from any direction. Splashing my AP4 here during the testing and mine still work fine until now. Moving to touch control, these Boya BY AP4 basically have them all. Play pause, skip our previous tracks, volume control, call management, voice assistant, everything is here. I'll display all the mechanism here on your screen. Pause if you need to. 
I know, some of you may still prefer physical buttons over touch control, but luckily, the touch control on this AP4 is responsive enough during my experience. It successfully registered my finger touch around 8 or 9 times out of 10, which is still great. Jumping over the battery here, the AP4s are claimed to be able to play 6 hours of continuous music playback, with the case providing additional 16 hours of music playtime. And this battery life is actually pretty normal among truly wireless earbuds nowadays. Even for earbuds at the same price range, guys. Now, when I tested the battery myself and play music at 50% volume using the same playlist that I used to test my other speakers, earbuds, or headphones, the BY AP4 could last 5 hours and 50 minutes, which is still around the same as what Boya claims here. Boya stated it's recommended to use not more than 5W charging adapter to charge the earbuds, the same caution that I found on the Soundbit 3 Engine 3 SE manual. So don't use fast charger guys. But this still makes sense considering the battery inside this charging case are not as huge as let's say your smartphone's battery. However, something that is quite rare among truly wireless earbuds at this price range, these AP4s support wireless charging, which is a plus, especially if you use wireless charger often or if you have smartphones that can wirelessly charge other devices, like the latest flagship phones from Samsung and Huawei. You can use those smartphones to charge this AP4 as well. Moving into connectivity, Bluetooth 5.0 is used here. Not the latest 5.1 or 5.2, but Bluetooth 5.0 have so far been good enough in my record. Testing the maximum linear Bluetooth range, walking away from my Android phone, which these are connected to, in open area. I could go as far as 20 meters away from my phone before the Bluetooth signal started to crackle here. And this around the same result as the Soundpits True Engine 3 SE. The Boya BY AP4 also work great in video streaming department. When I tested this for watching videos in YouTube and Netflix, in both my Android Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and my iPad Pro, I experienced no noticeable audio-video of sync at all. As for codecs, this AP4 supports SPC and AAC. So with this codex, using these earbuds on any iOS devices, you will get decent AAC compression, as the AAC audio compression on iOS devices is better than on the Android. So this is where I hope we could get at least Aptex codec support here. Also, considering there are some other earbuds at the same price range or even cheaper that offer Aptex support for better compression and better music detail. And I do hope some earbuds from some major brands can also start offering Aptex support, like the earbuds from Sony or Bose, which also oddly still stick with SBC and AAC at the moment. The Boya promote this to have hold switch feature, which basically will give you AirPods-like experience. Just open the charging case lid and the earbuds can be connected to your device without having to take out the earbuds first. However, during my testing, it needs around 3 to 4 seconds for the earbuds to connect to my iPad. So keep in mind, it's still not fully 1 second reconnection experience like on the AirPods. And when you take only one earbud out, you can use either right or left as both earbuds have independent connection to the connected device. No more master and slave, which is a huge plus for me. <coughs> Bose, <coughs> Sennheiser. Lastly, the earbuds do not support multi-pairing. So if you want to switch between devices, you have to unpair the earbuds from the first devices first and then connect them to the second device. No multi-device connection either here, so the earbuds can only be connected to one device at the same time. But at under $100, I rarely find any pair of earbuds that offer multi-device connection. Okay guys, so now we will test the mic of this Boya BYAP4, especially during phone call situation. Before doing so, please kindly help support the channel here by hitting that like button and also subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much guys, that means a lot for me. Now. Let's test out this Boya AB Force mic. So yes, this is the call quality test using the Boya BY AB4 in a quiet environment. And after this, I'm gonna play some loud straight background noise with my speakers here to test the mics of this earbud to the max. Here we go. Oh. 
All right, guys. So as you can hear it yourself, this is how the phone call will sound like on the other end while you use this DY84 in noisy environment. Hopefully, you can hear my voice clear enough here. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. What do you guys think of this earbud phone call quality? Okay, moving into what I think most of you will use as deciding factor in purchasing a new pair of truly wireless earbuds. How do these earbuds sound? Now, let me start with volume first. These earbuds do get loud. I usually listen to these earbuds at around 50% volume on both my Android and iPad, and the AB4s are almost as loud as my Oki EPN5 or Oki EPT25, and have more so than some other earbuds like the Sony WF-107XM3 or the Soundpits 3 Engine 3 SE. The overall audio of this PY AP4 falls into warm and balanced character with slightly bass boosted in my opinion. Starting with the bass, the bass is there, not that rumbling, very deep type of bass. Instead, it hits just enough to give certain amount of depth and dimension on the bottom part of the sound imaging. And the bass has a bit more Mm. than the Soundpits through Engine 3 SE that I ever reviewed on this channel. With my experience, the bass can give enough immersion while watching tense movies like horror, action, or thriller genres, and give enough color while listening to most EDM, R&B, hip-hop, and other bassy tracks. I also believe that the bass proportion is enough for most casual listeners out there. And the bass is relatively clean to hear, not muddy nor distorted per my assessment. But for some bass heads who used to listen to more bass emphasized audio, you may want to look at some other bassier budget earbuds like the Oki PT25 for example, which can provide deeper and more powerful bass. But as a trade-off, it's slightly less clean compared to the Boya ap 4 bass. Now, moving into the mid-range, the vocal and instruments are articulated well enough for earbuds at this price range. The vocal sounds more on the warmer side and it can get slightly forward at times. But in most cases, the vocal just remains in the middle you can say. I've tested this also for listening to news, audiobooks, and podcasts, and these are also still great for those kind of use. The instrument separation is there, it's decent, and help creating more dynamic experience instead of just linear experience. You can hear most instruments are separated well one to another, although it's still not at the sound pitch to engine 3 SE level. However, aspects that I think these earbuds could do a bit better are the sound stage, audio resolution, and instrument positioning precision, or what some people know as audio direction. The sound stage is actually pretty decent, but I do wish they still could have a bit wider sound stage and have some instruments sounding a bit more distinct one to another. As for audio direction, it's actually decent too. I can still pinpoint the positioning of the vocal that's slightly behind me or sometimes just slightly above me and also maybe two or three other main instruments. However, despite having decent track separation and audio dynamics, the rest of the audio elements are often get a bit too cloudy here and hard to precisely pinpoint in the overall sound imaging. The audio resolution and the clarity are fairly good for this price range, but Still, I hope they could be better at that regards. This is understandable, as part of it could be because these earbuds like higher quality codec supports such as Aptex or maybe Aptex HD. Comparing this to my Soundbeats True Engine 3 SE, the Soundbeats do have better clarity and small details in songs that sound more enhanced and pronounced. Lastly, the high frequency like the cymbal crashes and S consonant is kept within neutral here, I would say, with some amount of detail and I think it's not really that boosted. But I think boosting the high frequency more and having a bit more definition at the top end would be nice and could give more energy to supplement the whole audio experience. Again, this could only be me and my personal audio taste, who knows, audio is very subjective too guys. Therefore, before purchasing any audio products, please look at some review guys. Don't only look at one review and then go. Because I believe every review has its own perspective and in the end, you as consumers will get the most benefit from them. But all and all and all, if you are casual listeners who prefer more of balanced, slightly bass boosted audio signature with fair amount of audio dynamics combined with reasonable price and elegant yet simple case design and also some techy stuffs here built in like the wireless charging feature 
hold switch, touch control, this Boya BYAP4 can be a great option. But again, let me remind you, at this price range, the competition is really fierce. Looking at some competitors, if you want more dynamic, open sound, let's say, with better sound staging, clarity, and audio direction, Sunpit Stringent 3 SE are there to compete. But they are a bit weaker in bass department compared to this Boya BYAP4 and don't support wireless charging while well, this Boya BYAP4 do. If you want more bass, rumbling bass, and depth needed for watching movies, there are plenty options of bassy earbuds to choose as well, like the Ogi PT25 or maybe Sabat X12 Ultra. Meanwhile, some other competitors are packed with decent ANC feature, like the Ogi PN5 and Transmart Apollo Bolt. Okay guys, that's all for these videos about the Boya BYAP4. Hopefully this video can give you some reference before purchasing this Boya BYAP4. And also special thanks to the Boya teams for sending these review units far away from China to here in Indonesia. These are such gorgeous semi-in-ear earbuds. Thank you. And guys, also kindly follow this channel's Instagram account at mytechaudio and surely I will see you there as well. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Take care. Bye guys.